Right, hi all. This is the 28mm um, EDF um, unit from the stock Make 15 um, that I've stripped out um, and hopefully I want to use it to service the um, the Hawker Hunter project I'm working on. So this is the MiG-15, um, great little plane, um, flew it all last year, really abused it and um, it's kindly donated its organs towards the Hunter project. So that's where the EDF units come from, that's the E-Flight uh, 28mm um, EDF um, shown here, that I've modelled up. So originally I was going to just print the shroud and just use everything else by the, the shroud because I could uh, incorporate the shroud into the ducting but um, if anyone, any of you watched previous videos I've actually managed to do a printed um, rotor as well so uh, just in order to get a baseline I thought it would be good to test um, the stock unit as it is uh, versus the stock unit um, with my rotor on it just to make sure that I'm not um, getting a worse performance if you know what I mean so the only thing I actually added to the stock shroud for the testing purposes um, was a um, printed uh, inlet ring, um, which you can see there. Um, so everything else is stock. Um, and basically I've done uh, two tests, um, one in this configuration, and then the other test would be in um, configuration where it's got uh, my printed rotor on it. Um, I'll go into a little bit more detail on the printed rotor when we when I uh, talk through that test. I'm using Eagle Tree to um, record the data uh, from the tests. Um, so it's the Eagle Tree system. Um, it's the first time I've ever used it, so um, it's all very new to me, um, as is sort of EDFs in general. What I've done is um, on this for the first test, I actually um, accidentally deleted the um, the results file, so I, I can't actually show you those. Although I can show you the video and the thrust I achieved um, with the stock unit, um, I can't <laughs> redo the test because I actually burnt out the motor um, a day or so later, um, so I can't actually go back and redo the tests. But when I did do the, do the test with the um, printed a rotor on, um, I've still got the Eagle Tree file for that, so I can show you the results from that. Right, on to the test. 25, hard. Right, so that was the first test of the stock setup. Like I say, I actually deleted the Eagle Tree um, file for the results. Um, and I can't redo the test, never mind, live and learn. Um, the only thing I didn't actually say was um, the battery I was using. Um, and the battery I was using was a Nanotech um, 7 point, so 2 cell. Um, uh, with a discharge of 35C constant and 70C uh, burst and 260 uh, milliamps is the, um, the battery I've been flying the MiG with and everything else um, was stuck apart from the, um, the inlet ring so the max thrust I got was 43 grams and the total weight of the system as, as the as you see it there it was um, 24.93 grams right then on to the second test um, which was with the printed rotor so the stocks have, have all stayed the same we left, lost the um, stock ring um, sorry the stock rotor and we gained the the printed my printed version of the e-flight uh, rotor. Now, one one of the main uh, modifications I made to the original was to put the uh, inner little inner rotor 
um, inside the hub um, to drive air through the, the motor. A lot of these motors, well, all the motors I've had so far, I've got uh, cooling holes uh, in the rear and the front. Um, unfortunately, with the, the stock shroud, um, they don't actually have holes in the plastic to allow the cooling air through. And I've seen a lot on the forums um, that people have actually been drilling out, drilling holes in here to allow the air through. Um, so my thinking was just to take it one step further. Um, so I will, I won't be using this shroud anyway. Um, but on my my printed version, um, this area is open, so the air will get driven through. Now the reason why I haven't I'm not worried about the spinner is because with the setup that I'm using on the Hunter, um, it's a constant area um, inlet. Um, so the fan strip area is a constant area um, all the way through the um, model, uh, through the ducting. So um, if you have a look here, you can see what I'm doing is, what I'm going to do is if I just swap that, um, swap those over. Okay, so um, I need to do a little bit more work conducting since changing the setup, but basically this is what I'm thinking. Um, so the air is going to be guarded um, over the hub by the, um, in effect, by a splinter that's built into the ducting uh, that, that uh, keeps the area uh, of this fan 100% um, fan swept area constant all the way through the ducting. Um, so what I will do is once when I establish exactly what I'm what I'll be doing. Um, I'll extend this face a little bit further. I still want to leave a gap. Um, and what I might actually do is actually open this area here um, into the airframe and then have um, the air coming in the airframe, actually in the airframe other uh, through maybe the gun ports on the Hunter um, and then coming through. So the, when it's flying, it'll be um, there, be forced in. And also I'm hoping um, There'll be a little bit of vacuum or a little bit of um, negative pressure caused uh, over here. Um, and I'll just suck it through and then through the system without interfering too much with the um, sort of dynamics of the fan. Um, but it's early days, so I don't know whether it's going to work or not. Um, the other thing is a lot easier to print the rotor without a spinner on. Um, because all the supports, getting the support material out of there is a bit of a nightmare. But anyway, um, so um, that's why the rotor looks the way it looks. Um, eventually, when I do do the testing, it'll be with the um, with the complete um, sort of modelled um, section um, of the hunter on there, um, so I get the the benefits from um, the radius. Um, Inlets um, in the scale uh, version uh, for the tests. So, okay, so that's where I am. Um, and obviously, the, these tests weren't they just box standard tests, so they weren't with the um, they weren't with the ducting or anything on. The only the only thing we had on with the test was just the inlet ring, um, and as you see it there. Right, I think I've covered everything or nearly everything. So on to the test. Um, with this test, I actually um, didn't delete the file, the Eagle Tree file. So um, we, I've recorded all that information as well, and I'll superpose it on the um, video as well for you. Okay. Okay. So test one A. We've got the stock um, shroud, E-flight shroud for the twenty-eight millimeter rotor, a printed. Um, Inlet ring and the five blade printed um, rotor, 10 mil in runner, stock in runner, and we're doing it with the Nanotech A battery. Okay, let's rock and roll.
Right, so when we look at the results, um, unfortunately, uh, because I deleted that one file, <coughs> I think the other things we can look at is the max thrust and the um, total weight uh, of the systems. Um, when I discussed the um, results for the, the stock setup, I actually um, hadn't filled in the motor weight, um, so those those original um, that original value was uh, incorrect. So we've got they basically weigh the same. The stock setup is a little bit heavier. Um, I think that's the because the rotor I printed is slightly lighter. So this is the printed setup. Um, this one here uh, with a custom printed ABS rotor. It's five blade. Um, and everything else is the same. Um, so we go by a nine percent uh, increase in thrust, which is great with the printed rotor. And um, peak revs is fifty nine thousand four hundred and five. Um, we've also got a temperature sensor sensor on the motors and a temperature sensor on the. ESCs um, that I'll record when I do these tests. So basically what I'll do is, um, what I'm hoping to do is put these, um, say these these spreadsheets out as PDFs and um, share them via um, Google Documents and that way I can just update them in one place and anywhere I've, I, I, I put links to them uh, people can go and download them. Um, where I can I, I do put um, links into um, the actual um, websites and stuff um, where you can have a look in a little bit more detail at the um, at the items um, and I'll also put a link into the video, the YouTube video for this as well so if you do have this sheet you can just go straight to the videos from the sheets um, what else, I'll also actually put a copy of the Eagle Tree um, graphs in there as well if anyone's interested. Okay then, I uh, hope that you found this useful and um, I'll talk to you all again soon. Thanks.